Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I'm the Mysterious JG. And I just want to tell you that this data saves games automatically something or other. Historical events, religious faiths, beliefs, etc. Um, I actually noticed a little preview, uh, like, you know, title screen movie type thing plays that I never actually bothered to record on camera. So let's give this a second. See if we can't see that before we rejoin the adventure. I actually did uh, play a little bit of this offline, just messing around trying to acquire loots and upgrade the ship. I upgraded a few things on the ship, uh, so we should be in a better place. But in fact, I'd need to play a little further in the plot before I could have another round of probably off-screen to get money, because we're coming apart across a part soon, aren't we? Where we're going to have a lot of stuff where it just costs a bunch of real to upgrade. As opposed to upgrading All the ship, right, which lads. generally involves lots of other I'll stuff. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. Beards are you better when they're red or yellow. this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Didn't he usually, like, have cinders right. in his beard set on fire? For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. Clever, clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge in these You know, Blackbeard wasn't really about being humble. He was about being intimidating. But this man is a fearsome dog that feeds off trouble and turmoil. And wall springing. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. Dressed as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Four legs of skies. Knows his way round every crag and crevice of these islands. So if his fortune and adventure you seek, then Captain Edward can wait your man. Only don't meddle in his private affairs. He's uh, homosexual and there's nothing wrong with it, but he's private about it. And even I dare I. Check out the mysterious way he wears a hood. It's pretty mysterious, isn't it? The mysterious way that woman's got no top on out in the rain. Assassin's Creed, pick it up, hook bears. Alright. So there you go. That was well worth the wait, wasn't it? Indeed. I have an Ubisoft password. I don't have a season's pass, which is why uh, we would have to pay to play the. Uh, Freedom's Cry DLC, which I'll probably eventually do. I haven't decided if I'm just going to buy the Freedom's Cry DLC, Freedom's Cry, or if I'm going to get the Season's Pass. The Season Pass basically gets you the Freedom Cry DLC and a bunch of multiplayer uh, bonuses at a cost that it would be cheaper than to buy them individually. But I'm not really... I'm doing this as an LP. I'm probably not really going to spend any time on multiplayer because when I'm done LP in this, I'll start LP in something else. Uh... But then again, you never know. There might be other stuff that comes out as part of the season pass. They're already working on the next game in the series, though, so I would imagine the DLC for this game will slow down to a trickle and probably stop. Either way, let's get back going with the West Indies Sea. I don't remember in everything that I did in my off-screening. I don't think I did anything that I wouldn't want you guys to... that I would have uh, really wanted you guys to see. As a matter of fact, at one point I actually was finding something that looked like a unique, interesting little thing, and I uh, cut it off. Uh, there was a point where I found a ship that was like, uh, it looked like it was abandoned, and we didn't sink it, it was just like, already in trouble, and I uh, took a look, and uh, when you actually get, when you get on board, you actually get a timing like limit, the ship, ship is going to sink, and you have to personally Retrieve as much loot as you can before it sinks, and your crew doesn't help you. And it's a bit of a silly little mini game, but it was, you know, a fun mini game. So let's take a look. It's in a book, Reading Rainbow. See what I got for the ship. Uh, as you see, I've been uh, spending a lot of reals, but I've been upping most of my other stuff. I have a little bit of stuff we can sell. Sugar and rum are. I don't know why you would ever not sell all of your sugar and rum. I haven't come across anything it's useful for except getting reals. 
doesn't appear that you can ever have your real stolen. It's not like Seventh Saga where you buy gems so that if you die, your reals don't get cut in half. So even the sell all button, I I didn't bother to note. Is there a way to sell some and keep the rest? And I kind of doubt it. Quickest way to see uh, our jack draw upgrades is to look and see what we've already got. Uh, we have an advanced hull. Don't remember whether that's an upgradable what we had off screen. Definitely got somewhat better broadside cannons. We have the best chase cannons we can have, which is uh, nice. Nice. Uh, chase cannons are useful in certain situations, basically, when you are facing directly towards an enemy and want to fire on them rather than shooting a broadside. Sometimes this is handy because I've noticed that the computer AI will occasionally get itself kind of stuck and not really evade you very much if you're pointing towards them. Uh, if you turn and face them broadside, even if you try to drop anchor and not move, they're going to start maneuvering around to get away from that. But sometimes you can just chip away at them with the chase cannons and they won't mind too much. Upgraded the ram strength once. We had a basic ram, now we have an advanced ram. Round shot strength is just going to cost a ton of reals to max out. Uh, chain shot strength we have maxed out. But that pretty much is fired from the chase cannons, I think. Um, I don't remember that there's any way to shoot regular shot out of the front cannons. But now, although the, the damage there caps out a lot sooner than it does from your broadside cannons, by having max chase cannons and max chain shot strength, we're doing about as much damage with those uh, shots, uh, you know, when we're facing towards the baddies as we can. I, th I think I as uh, during my off screening, my next thing I was gonna do was increase our mortar again, but I haven't. Uh, but I do have the basic standard mortars. Can't remember if I've used those on screen, but it's much more of a long range weapon. Difficult to hit a ship with it if the ship knows you're hostile and is trying to evade. But um, it's like a sneak attack tactic, pretty good. Went ahead and upgraded the swivel guns one time. I think there's a use for those, like when you find the... I think you're supposed to use those when you find the, you know, they tell you, Enter there, come, that's her, she's weakest! You're supposed to use the swivel cannon to deal with them, but I haven't really been doing it. For, I haven't been using it for anything other than uh, killing dudes uh, on deck when we're attacking. Got heavy shot, but hadn't figured out how to use it. Checked a fac. I think I know how to use it now. Um, you don't press the L trigger and aim the way that I've been used to doing everything else. You don't get to aim it. You just point in the direction uh, and you can fire it from the broadside cannons only, I believe. And you look off to the side and press the fire button without pressing the aim button and it'll fire a heavy shot if you have it. It's shorter range. It does significantly more damage. You can see there, um, 120 damage as opposed to our uh, round shot, which does 65 so it's almost twice as much and that's when it's just at its most basic and we've upgraded the round shot a few times upgrade the round shot two more times at a great deal of cost it'll still be a hundred and the heavy shot will be more um, and when they're both maxed out the heavy shot will do more than twice the damage the issue is heavy shot is not a is finite uh, you have to go buy more uh, when you use up your supply the round shots you have an infinite supply of cannonballs because it's a video game. You know, they're, they're never going to have you completely helpless. And, um, you, like I said, you don't get to aim it. The reason I know how to use it is because I just did a Google search and it pointed me towards the wiki. And the wiki explained how to do it, but in such a way that it was like I didn't think that could have been right. So then the next link was to a GameFAQs, uh, like a thread on the message board, where, of course, the first question is a guy in, like, melodramatic fashion and saying like oh, how, can, how can you use this the game gives it to you and they don't explain it which I guess I kind of agree with I don't remember having gotten a message telling how to use heavy shot but it's right there on YouTube if you want to go back and watch you could find it and timestamp it if you felt like it but no I didn't notice a message this guy's like complaining about it like how do you use this thing it doesn't even tell you what the hell um, so that's the first the first post Second post is some guy telling him he's retarded and like it's so easy to Google this. This has been answered a thousand times. Why didn't you look for an answer before you posted retard? Third answer is uh, somebody actually answering the question. Fourth uh, post in the thread is somebody flaming the second post in the thread for like why do you have to be such a jerk? The guy's just asking a question. People like you ruin this message board. Fifth is the second guy going attacking the fourth guy. 
Sixth is the fourth guy attacking the... It just turned into a... It was pretty ridiculous. Like, you see, like, a thread that goes on for several pages where a question is answered fairly quickly and then just turns into people arguing with each other. Always fun. I increased my heavy shot storage uh, because, basically, it didn't cost that much. But um, that was kind of a dumb thing to spend rails on because, at this point, I don't have to use them. Increased the mortar, the mortar storage by more because I figured out how to use mortar very quickly. Fire barrel, fire barrel. I don't use fire barrels, so this, even though it's really not that expensive to upgrade, but I'm not going to even upgrade it a bit until uh, you know I'm just running out of other things to upgrade. Crew quarter, we ma I maxed out, so we've got the biggest crew we can have. And cargo storage, I haven't bothered with because I've been selling cargo as I collect it. The only thing I can think of that this will affect is eventually I might run into, I'm trying to save up lots of wood, cloth, and metal, or I've got enough of those for something but not enough reals, and then any wood, cloth, or metal that I get after that will be wasted because I don't have enough reals, and I'm, I'm throwing it away and not using it. Uh, and at this point, harpooning hasn't come up as a minigame, although I'm sure it will eventually. Uh, but it, when it does, um, getting like the second, like you, you start out with the most basic basic, and uh, upgrading that is not going to be very expensive. But I'll put it off until I actually have reason to do it. The rowboat resists a fearsome, a large amount of prey attacks. The rowboat is invulnerable. You can just go start punching whales in the nose. Nobody can fuck with you and your rowboat. Your rowboat is more powerful than the jack truck. Oh, looks like we're in a storm, so I better get out there and deal with that shit. And I haven't done anything, oh, unless I completely forgot about it. Uh, I don't think I've done anything to upgrade my uh, personal stuff. And obviously we haven't shaved. Community challenge is going on. I, I'm doing an LP here. That's why I need people to comment, like, and subscribe so that I don't feel so alone as I ignore these community challenges and concentrate on my one-player game. Oh, woe is me. Uh, I'd probably check the old map. I, I'd completely lost track of where we'd gone. I think I, um... I think I was bouncing around on this island and, uh... No, we already been here. That was, uh... A while ago. The next plot plot is, uh... Oh, that's right. The last thing I did was hit this, uh... No, never mind. I thought maybe that was a mark map marker for the ship that I, uh... found and got treasure off of before it sank. But in fact, that's not the case. There is a, uh... naval convoy with high money gain. That might be worth trying to play with because... I have significantly, uh... I, in my off-screening... Actually, this was before I started the LP. One of the last things I was doing was trying to trying to sink a treasure ship convoy that I'd found and failing uh, and uh, like I could come pretty close but I just didn't really have the the strength for it let's keep going with this uh, I also uh, crept up on a base and was actually offered the mission to try to take over like you can take over these uh, seaside fortresses for yourself but I was like if I'm gonna do that for the first time I really ought to do it on camera. And so I'll let it be. So let's uh, see if we can sink that combo. We got a great big combo right here. Unfold, mate! Let's move! Hey! Let's loose the dogs of war. The boats of war. So, yeah, but I'm a. Uh, I've leveled up my ship, it's more more powerful than the one that I was using in my off-screening to try to mess with this stuff. Spare this way. The Animus seems to want me to hang out over there. Ah, it's just marked as a place where I can uh, ship for me timbers and rotate my barnacles. So I should have a fairly large island to navigate around soon. Uh, where is this thing at again? Eh, it's not too bad. 
actually, if I bear down here, I'll then have a nice, straight, simple shot. But in the storm, this is actually a little bit trickier. I'm trying to say something and it's not working for me. Uh, there's a guy who's gone overboard and he could probably really use our help in this one. So yeah, but if I, fig I figure if I get into the straits just north of Cuba, and I'm sure they have a, a name in the real world, which has probably not changed since pirate times, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> it's not so much that I don't remember what it is, I just I probably never knew what it was. And now, from here, pretty much... Well, no, let me keep going a little bit. A little bit more in this southwardly direction before I reset my, my marker. Sweep south of these islands and have a nice clear seas between me and... Uh, I guess I should have grabbed these. Well, I'll get another chance. These guys are vaguely out of my my path. There's a little piece of treasure here that I could grab. Don't want to get too close to those guys and be perceived as a threat. Slippery nipple is my favorite drink. I just really hope that when we get to this thing, it's the treasure convoy I went after uh, before had like a time limit on it, and it disappears off the map, and you can't attack it anymore. I really hope that doesn't happen here, because we're kind of going out of our way to get at this thing. It'd also be nice if I don't utterly fail. So the smartest thing I can do here is to figure out what the most threatening, like to try to get a good look at the entire convoy and uh, figure out what the most threatening ship in it is, or the one that I most desperately want not to escape. And, ah, uh, crap, this is patrolled area. Well, that makes sense. It's a royal convoy. Our enemies being pretty much everyone. But if we get over here and, uh... Yeah, I got it. Thanks for the help, big man. Too far off to see anything. What is it? Bull shark over there. Harpooning target. There's sea critters to spear here! Yeah, I'm not messing with that yet. It hasn't come up in the story. Apparently, I can do it, though. But yeah, I want to find whatever, either the most, either the biggest threat, if I intend to sink them all, or if I feel like they're going to try to flee, I'm going to want to concentrate on the one that I think is most likely to flee and that I most desperately want to catch before it escapes. And uh, whatever one that is, I'm going to want to mortar them. Mortalized. There goes on our wall. And I should really try not to um, get hit by you know, whales or anything. Oh, it's a good thing I have such incredible ability to detect uh, enemy fleets because. Nowhere near close enough to actually spot this thing. And it would appear that they are not sailing here in the Forbidden Zone. I thought I was going to have to break 8th Law. So we're going a bit out of our way, but uh, I'm confident we can do something about this convoy. we got a great big convoy right into the night. There's a... Uh, I think that's one of those brigs where we can go over there and it's pre-sinking and we can board it and get like a little uh, timed mission of trying to grab its shit. It doesn't appear to be in combat with anybody is the thing. So 
So, is this thing closer than I realized to a port? No. Now we're gonna go past the port on our way to where it is. I, maybe I should have fast traveled to a closer location. But I worry that if I do that, then it won't be there when we get there. That it'll, like, reset or something. Don't know that it works that way, but the possibility disturbed. That's my clever way of saying I didn't think about fast traveling until just now, but I'm going to rationalize it wasn't a good idea. Okay. We're getting close enough now. 2,000 reals, a schooner. too close to it to do. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Pissed off dudes come after me. Okay, so they are coming after me now. I did good damage, but they are going to be hitting me pretty damn hard. Uh, let me worry about just surviving first. And the other thing I can do is try to actually board that uh, schooner and repair, because they'll just hang out while I do that. But I just sunk it, so forget that. Now if I don't... Ooh, they got the fire again pretty nice quickly. What I want to do is getting real close. And then try to do this uh, heavy shot. No, this is not going to work. Now I'm be setting myself up where they can broadside me. And I can't broadside them. Okay. Here it comes! Steady lads! Mind the helmet, you will break us apart! Well, I'm trying. Fire! Look, Captain, the whole place shut down! Fire! Taking a hit, Cap! Here it comes! Steady, lads! Fire! Fire! That's the heavy shot, right? Now firing, sir! Fire! Let's all expose, take the shots up! One more direct hit, and we're for the Fire! Day. Yeah, but... Oh, this is going to be close. Did I, uh... Did I disable them both? I disabled them both! Oh, shit. There's another ship coming around. Alright, let's uh, board this before somebody else... No, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so this won't be an easy fight because it's a galleon. So we'll have to kill a lot of dudes. Power barrels. I didn't actually succeed in doing that, but it was worth a try. I'm really sucking at this. Okay, so I kind of blew that. You know. 
I haven't played in a couple of days. This is, probably isn't how I should have started things off, but... Gotta kill some enemy scouts. You know, Mercury Mars and Jupiter. The safest way to do that is actually to sneak up on them and assassinate them like that. Except for the evaded. We'll try to climb up on the rigging. I gotta go after some scouts anyway. And they're usually up here somewhere. Hey, I just killed you. I thought. And now I'm gonna fall to my death. Oh god. Okay, I'm still alive. Whoa, that was close. Okay, well, I can avoid combat by swimming around. That was really close. a lot of work for 2,000 reals. Ultimately, it will do me no good at all to uh, just swim around down here forever, because they'll kill 15 crew members, but I don't think they'll ever kill the scouts. I gotta go up there and deal with the scouts. And even after we've killed the prerequisite number of crew members, there'll still be enemy crew that spawns to attack. So at some point, I've got to get up here and... Damn it, get it! we go. I just skipped away from one guy and punched another dude in the face. And as a result, we've taken over the ship. Now, in theory, we could lower our wanted level, but obviously at this point, we uh, took a lot of damage at the jack draw. So, want to repair it. I don't know if we get a full repair out of this. I don't remember. I don't think you guys have ever actually seen the lower wanted level cinematic, which is too bad. We'll, we'll get there eventually. So we repaired up most of the way. We'll go ahead and board this one too. Wait, we're under fire? I guess somebody else showed up and started messing with us. And sunk the ship we were going to board. Clever way to prevent us from... Uh, Clever, clever way to prevent us from getting to board it and get repairs to sink your own comrades. Yeah, fuck a bunch of that. You guys don't get to escape. You prevented me from boarding that other ship. Looks like we... Oh, shut up. So we might end up spending some of that, some of those reals needed to repair ourselves. We, if we can't repair all the way up to full capacity from this, which you know would kind of make sense. We're almost sunk at sea. A bunch of pirates. I'm sure they have some capacity to fix their own ship, but. I'm trying to, uh, trying to, to board the ship, yeah. This will obviously be a lot easier than the last one. Don't know why that didn't come, but 
That's right, the triumphant cry of any pirate captain seizing an enemy ship. Yeah, boy! <laughs> and, well, I'm sure that someday we will eventually uh, showcase what it looks like when you lower your wanted level by setting the crew free. Today, we're going to repair the Jack Draw. Joe. I keep calling it Jack Draw. It's the Jack Daw. It's the name of the ship. It's great. So there you go. We hit a, uh, it wasn't a treasure fleet. Those have a lot more uh, reals. But we got a, a materials required to make the ship stronger, sir. Yeah, I bet you do bet you we do. So there you go, that's a little little taste of pirate adventure for you folks. That's what my off screening mostly consisted of. A lot of that. Ooh, this guy's got mortar shot. Did use a little bit of that, used two shots of mortar, so we actually are not at full uh, mortar anymore. But I think we'll be okay. Don't call us Trumps. Well, if you call us Trumps, we're going to call us Spade Spade. <laughs> Nobody wants that. There's like loots over here, but I don't want to like hit a sandbar trying to get them. Eh, yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Listen. All right, so I guess our best, our next bet at this point, if we want to continue the story, is going to be to fast travel someplace close to the next story mission. And the best we can do is fast travel back to actually more or less where we started the video. But, you know, I don't consider this video like a complete waste or anything. We uh, we got to sink a galleon. And, uh, you know, you got, you got the experience of seeing what happens when you encounter a naval fleet uh, as an event and sink it. We got 2,000 reals, almost doubling the cash on hand. Good stuff. Good stuff. When we come back next time, however, uh, we're going to get back to the next storyline mission. Because I want to get, I think if we get through the next storyline mission, it's a, it's a, it's sort of a long one. But uh, I believe it is the last storyline mission I had done off screen. Uh, before starting the LP, so we'll, I will no longer have any foreknowledge of that. Like, I mildly spoiled something kind of by mistake, uh, which I'm going to try to avoid talking about, but I didn't really spoil in details. Like, oh, I know some character is going to do something along these lines later. I don't remember which character it's going to be, so it's, it's all cool. But, um, you know what? I'm just going to throw it out there. At some point during the course of the story about pirates, uh, somebody who we think is our friend is going to try to sell us out. Okay, I'm sorry, that was a spoiler, but I accidentally spoiled it for myself. At some point during this game about rogues, buccaneers, privateers, and pirates, somebody is going to put their own self-interest ahead of ours. But I honestly don't even remember exactly what that impacts, I just remember reading that. So, that's coming up. I don't know if it's coming up soon, very near the end of the game. I suppose it's a horrible spoiler if uh, it turns out that's a very late game thing. And, um... We spend the rest of the game looking for it, but yeah, I, I wasn't that shocked to find out at some point. It's not like a Metal Gear game where you find out, oh, somebody you thought was your friend isn't, but it's similar. It's a game about freaking pirates, folks. The next time we'll get back to that main story, and if I feel the urge to off-screen again, uh, we are going to be given the opportunity, we're going to have a uh, so-called, like a, excuse me, Kingdom of Loathing style meat sink, where we'll have lots of stuff where we can spend... Reals to upgrade things that are wholly optional. I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll join us next time.